Hello everyone, this is Mawson Lee. I'm happy for this PhD thesis defense. The title is Spatial Temporal Data Modeling with Graphs, Methods and Applications. There are six chapters, and I introduce four main works during my study. First, the background. Spatial temporal data exists widely in our life. In this data, multiple members have a spatial distribution and time evolution and there is spatial temporal dependencies between members. Here we show several typical examples, such as particle motion system, skeleton-based human action, and so on. Spatial temporal data also has many applications. It is important to study the modeling of this data due to the technical and practical values. Considering the non-Euclidean format, sparse features, and complex spatial-temporal correlations, we employ the framework based on graph representation learning, where we build a spatial-temporal graph for relation modeling and further extract informative features for downstream tasks. At present, there are three core problems of this framework. How to establish a graph to describe the implicit relationships in data? how to design effective feature extraction to mine more information, and how to analyze the function of graph representation learning. To solve the above problems, we propose various methods and verify them in several important applications and scenarios. The first work is learning hybrid interaction graph. To study this problem, we focus on an important task skeleton-based action recognition and motion prediction, which takes body joint formed pose sequence as inputs and generates the classification results and the future poses. Previous works only consider predefined skeleton graph, which is local and suboptimal for rich relation capturing. We consider another two graphs, structural graphs, which is the high order of the skeleton that depicts long range physical constraints and actional graphs, which is trainable to infer the action-based body joints interactions that are hard to define. To learn the actional graph, we propose an inference module based on a neural message passing and attention mechanism to form the graph adjacency matrix. Based on the actional graph and structural graph, we propose the actional structural graph convolution, which uses a linear combination of two graph convolution terms followed by an activation function to obtain the hybrid features. Furthermore, we apply the temporal convolution after the graph convolution to consider the temporal relations, leading to the core module, actional structural spatial temporal graph convolution block of our model. The entire model, symbiotic graph neural network, has two parallel networks which takes different input representations, joint-based features and bone-based features. Each network achieves action recognition and motion prediction at the same time. The recognition head delivers the soft label to enhance motion prediction. The prediction head preserves detailed information to improve action recognition as well. Here is the loss function. We test our methods for uh, on four large-scale data sets. There are the action recognition accuracies. Our methods achieve superior results than state-of-the-art methods on various data sets and benchmarks. This is a human motion prediction results, where the proposed methods obtain the lowest error on most action categories. Here, we conduct ablation studies, aiming to find the optimal graphs components and the co coefficients of graph convolution terms. We visualize the learned actional graphs, showing the reasonable body interactions on different actions. The next work is multi-scale feature learning. In image processing, multi-scale modeling proved the effectiveness to obtain scale invariant, comprehensive, and important features. In spatial temporal data, such as skeleton-based motion action prediction task, we also consider this idea, deriving both detailed and abstract information, 
as well as flexibly capturing groupwise interactions beyond the simple pairwise relations. In this work, we decompose the spatial temporal graph as a spatial graph and a temporal graph. On these two graphs, respectively, there are three main operations multi scale graph construction, multi scale feature extraction, and cross scale feature fusion. To build the multi scale graph in the spatial domain, there are two strategies. The first is to average the nearby joints according to the human priors. The second is to use a trainable joint clustering and pooling method to group the joints similar in the hidden space. As for the temporal graph, we directly average consecutive frames as a shorter sequence. To learn the multi-scale features, we use parallel graph convolution in both spatial and temporal domains. For feature fusion, spatial features rely on a cross-scale affinity matching for cost to find feature mapping. Temporal feature directly duplicates the coarse features to the fine scale. The entire model is called multi-scale spatial temporal graph neural network, aiming to achieve precise motion prediction. The model follows an encoder-decoder framework. The encoder performs the multi-scale and the deep feature learning. The decoder is based on GRU that embeds a graph convolution in it performing sequential post generation. Here are the loss terms, which constrain the post means, continuities, and the cl clear body joint clustering. We conduct experiments on three large scale datasets and achieve superior prediction performance compared to previous methods. In ablation study, we test different scale numbers and sizes for both spatial and temporal graphs, and obtain the best structures. We test different multi-scale graph building methods by comparing to previous techniques and prove that our methods lead to the best results. We also evaluate the effectiveness of, this, of the three loss terms and their corresponding coefficients to investigate their properties and prove the effectiveness. The next work is called multi-band feature learning. Although the developed graph convolution-based techniques handle the non-Euclidean data for representation learning, they determine the graph filtering only focuses on limited graph spectrum band, which fails to capture large band information and features. In this work, on the human motion prediction tasks, we study to preserve as rich information as possible from both spectral and spatial perspectives. In graph spectrum, we propose an adaptive graph scattering networks, which is formed by a tree structure. Given the input feature and associated graphs as a root node, different mathematically designed graph filters, trainable feature transforms, <laughs> and nonlinear activation are applied on the data. The conventional graph convolution could be regarded as a specific and low-pass filter. Different graph filters focus on different spectrum bands, together enriching the information extraction over the large band. To integrate the multiple channels graph spectrums on different bands, we propose a spectrum attention-based aggregation module where we combine the whole spectrum feature and the enriched channel feature to reflect the similarity or importance of this channel. We assign the important score to all the channels for weighted average. Furthermore, because different parts of human bodies carry distinct motion patterns, we separate the human body for individual feature extraction. To aggregate these part-based features, we develop a part by parted graph to propagate information via the coordination relations and add them together to the original body. The entire network is a feedforward framework. We first apply discrete cosine transform along temporal domain to convert the temporal data to more compact form. Then we use cassated graph scatterings. Finally, the inverse DCT recovers the post sequences. 
We conduct experiments on three large-scale datasets and achieve superior prediction performance compared to previous methods. We change the number of graph scattering layers, scattering channels, and network blocks to find the optimal model architecture. We visualize the post features. After the low-pass graph convolution, all the features tend to be similar and smooth. With other band pass filters, the difference between the nodes are enhanced. The last work is online collaborative prediction. Online learning could adapt to highly dynamic systems with even infinite states since it is performed inference and model training in the real time given the data flow. In this work, we propose a collaborative prediction unit as a core module. Given the multiple dynamic agents, we build any two agents as a collaborative pair and predict the possible future results to reflect the carried mutual effects of this pair. To determine one agent states in the future, we build a collaborative graph to visit all the collaborative pairs. The prediction of collaborative pairs is trained through a regression loss and gradient descent. The collaborative graph is trained via the online exponentiate update. We also conduct regret analysis to prove the convergence. At the same time, we prove that the collaborative graph helps to obtain a good prediction, which is not worse than that we use the best collaborative pair to predict. However, the best collaborative pair can only be known in hindsight. This is the entire architecture. We use Cassidy's collaborative prediction unit to refine the prediction results. We conduct experiments on three scenarios, including simulated particle system prediction, human motion prediction, and traffic speed prediction. Empirical results show the effectiveness of our <laughs> methods. This is a converged cur curve in the training process. The effects of learning rates and the analysis of model architectures. We visualize the learned collaborative graphs. These graphs are different, but reasonable on different actions, as well as a graph could evolve during the online learning process. This is a learned traffic graph on the map. Thank you for your watching.